Time now for the morning rush. We start with Kristen Curry. Good morning. We'll begin with the next big weather maker in the form of high pressure, and really that's going to do nothing but give us a plenty of sunshine. Warm temperatures expected across the entire state, warmer than what we had yesterday with some breezy conditions out east. Catherine? Five suspects are in custody this morning, and four officers are at the hospital after an officer involved crash in northwest Albuquerque. Video just into our newsroom shows a section of St. Joseph's still blocked off from Coors to Ladera. We're expecting officers to reopen the road soon as they finish their investigation. Just minutes ago, I spoke with BCSO, who told us deputies were responding to an armed carjacking in the South Valley that led to a chase in, into northwest Albuquerque. The suspect's vehicle hit an APD officer's unit who was on his way or her way home. Three APD officers and one deputy were injured. Five suspects are now in custody. On to developing news now. The police sergeant who was fired after being accused of stealing marijuana from his own police station is now asking for a break. The DA's office says Roshan McKinney now plans to apply for the DA's pre-prosecution diversion program. If he's accepted and completes a two-year program, all his felony charges would be dismissed. If he's not accepted into the program, he faces up to six years in prison if convicted of the felony charges. Today, a suspected sneaky gym thief expected in court. In June, police arrested 29-year-old Rhiannon Oldfield after leading police on a car chase with a stolen car. APD says Oldfield has a history of stealing at local gyms, breaking into lockers, taking car keys, and then breaking into homes. She's facing multiple charges, including aggravated burglary, larceny, and others. A UNM professor accused of sexual misconduct could be out of a job soon. Cristobal Valencia was suspended earlier this year while the university investigated sexual harassment claims. The provost says he has reviewed this case. Termination is warranted. Valencia's contract will end at the end of the month. He can appeal, though. We now know of another death attributed to the rupture of a Takata airbag. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says a 50-year-old woman died last month in California. Honda confirmed the woman's death and said she was driving a 2001 Honda Civic. This is the 11th known U.S. US fatality attributed to Takata airbags. It's the largest auto recall in the U.S. history. New this morning, a federal judge has blocked a Mississippi law that bans the state's medical program from spending money with any health care provider that offers abortions. That law took effect on July 1st, but the lawsuit that was filed by Planned Parenthood in mid-June the judge says it violated the free choice of the provider. In just months, drug lord Joaquin El Chapo Guzman could arrive in the U.S. to stand a trial. Mexico has approved the extradition of Guzman, the, but his lawyers still have one more appeal available. Guzman is considered one of the world's most powerful drug traffickers. He and other cartel leaders were indicted in 2009 on charges of conspiring to import cocaine. Sandoval County deputies need your help finding a credit card thief. They say the man is suspected of using six stolen credit cards in stores across the metro area. The credit card deputies say he used in this video was reportedly taken from an auto burglary. If you recognize him, call deputies. Kristen. Today's metro threat index, nothing, no threat at all. We have sunshine, warm temperatures, and light winds. Really the only threat's a sunburn if you're going to be outside, so remember the sunscreen. We'll send things back over to Fernanda. A farmer's strike in Mexico could eventually have you paying more for guacamole. New Mexico restaurant owners are feeling it first. They say they've seen prices for avocados go up since the strike began in Mexico. Avocado growers in Mexico have exported fewer avocados and started their strike in early July. The growers want more stable prices for their product. Professors expected to strike for a third day today at 14 Pennsylvania State University is because of the protest around 100,000 students will again not be heading to class this morning. Protesters say negotiations went south over curriculum issues, health care and salary. The sides did not formally negotiate yesterday. No word on when they plan to pick up negotiations again. New Mexico State University is looking for ways to do a better job at keeping freshmen. This year, 40 fewer students returned to NMSU. The university surveyed 180 first-year students who did not re-enroll this fall and found the majority of them blamed finances. NMSU says it is looking at ways to fix the problem, including payment plans. On to check on that morning drive. Here's a good look at our traffic map here. Our interstates all green at this time, but I want to remind you of that officer involved crash on St. Joseph's between Coors and Ladera. That stretch still blocked off at this time. We'll let you know when it does reopen.
This morning, New Mexico Pinion Coffee is celebrating the opening of its second location. The new coffee house is on 4th near Montano. It includes a drive through outdoor seating and walk in seating space. During the celebration, customers can win prices and receive discounts when they donate to the Boys and Girls Club of Central New Mexico. And finally this morning, the trailer for the new Wolverine movie called Logan is out. The latest in the superhero series starring Hugh Jackman. It was filmed here in the Rio Rancho subdivision of Northern Meadows. From Sky News 13, you can see the huge water tank that was shown in the preview. The movie comes out in March. Time now for the five facts. We start at number five. In just about two months, the city council could vote on a plan that could help curb the property crime problem. Councilors Pat Davis and Brad Winter want the city to hire as many as 25 retired cops as so-called community response specialists. They won't carry a badge or gun, but they can interview witnesses, dust for fingerprints, and file reports. It's expected to go before the full council in early December. Number four now, a woman behind bars this morning after trying to take someone's child. A of taking someone's child. The mother and her three kids were heading into Walmart at Zuni in San Mateo Wednesday. Police say 25-year-old Julie Nieto grabbed the woman's six-year-old son by the wrist. Police did arrest her shortly after. At number three, sunny, warm, and dry today through the weekend with just a little bit of wind out across the eastern plains. At number two happening today, a celebration service for fallen APD officer Daniel Webster. Today marks one year since Officer Webster was gunned down during a traffic stop. The city will honor him during a celebration at Civic Plaza today where people are asked to bring food supplies to donate to Paws and Stripes and NM Dog. The event starts at noon today. Finally, number one, we continue following breaking news throughout the morning. We first told you about at 4 o'clock, 430 this morning. Police investigating a crash involving an Albuquerque police officer on St. Joseph's between Coors and Ladera. It started early this morning when a BCSO deputy was in pursuit of several armed carjacking suspects. During that chase, we've been told the suspect's vehicle struck the police cruiser of an APD officer on their way home. That officer is at the hospital. We've been told they're there with non life threatening injuries. Also just into our newsroom, five su suspects are in custody at this time. We'll let you know more as soon as more information does come into our newsroom.